All right, good morning. So it is 5 a.m. and I'm just leaving the Mather campground at the south rim of the Grand Canyon. And I have about two miles to walk to the South Kaibab Trailhead. And then I'm gonna be going rim to rim on the Grand Canyon. Got up early to beat the hot weather and the crowds and see the sunrise on the canyon. So yeah, let's get moving. So I'm almost at the South Kaibab trailhead. Gonna get there before sunrise for sure. And the camera will pick up the views a lot better once the sun comes up. So I'm really excited to be here. Finally made it to the Grand Canyon and going to be hiking rim to rim, really excited. So if you're new to this channel and you just clicked on the video for the Grand Canyon, just to let you know, I'm hiking the Arizona Trail. So it's an 800 mile trail from Mexico to Utah. And so far I've hiked 700 miles to make it to the Grand Canyon. And right now in my pack, I have about four days worth of food so that I can make it across the Grand Canyon and then all the way to Utah. So if you're curious about the Arizona Trail, curious about more hiking content, then please do subscribe to the channel because I have lots of interesting videos. And after this, I'm going to be hiking the Continental Divide Trail, which goes 3,000 miles from Mexico to Canada. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more hiking content. But yeah, let's crack on with the hike then, shall we? It's pretty funny, so far the only people I've seen are trail runners just zooming by me with their little running vests on and their trekking poles and just running down. I, I imagine some of them are probably going rim to rim to rim, maybe, I don't know. So you can actually see and hear the river down there. See down there? It's the Colorado River.
so I'm almost down to the Colorado River now. Hasn't taken that long, it's like 8.30 now or something, and I have less than a mile, 0.6 of a mile or something, to get to the Colorado River. So yeah, it's been pretty easy going downhill actually. It's been going at pretty decent pace and the views have been amazing. And not that many people, honestly. I think because of the time of day that I started, you know, there's, I've been able to pace it so that I, I kind of know how far ahead the next people are and how far behind the others are. So like, it basically feels like I have the trail to myself, which is really cool. But yeah, even though it's still in the morning, it has started to warm up quite a lot. It's not really hot yet, but in the sun it is very hot. I think as I start going up, up towards the North Rim, it's going to be really hot. So you can see the bridge down there. You can also see people paddling along the river, which is quite cool. Alright, so I made it down to the Colorado River now and it's been a pretty good hike so far. Not too difficult. It's starting to get hot now, especially in the sun. Uh, so I'm going to put my sun hat on and keep moving. Soon I'll be going uphill and I've got a lot of uphill to go. So. It's a much more desert-like environment down here. As you can see, I'm back to these cacti. Haven't seen these cacti in a while. And look, these ones are flowering. I'm guessing you need some kind of permit or something like that to paddle down this river. I'm guessing there's probably a waiting list for those permits to paddle down the Colorado River. Probably like an eight year long waiting list or something just to get a permit to paddle down a river. So when you get down to the bottom of the canyon and you reach the Colorado River, you get to a campsite called Bright Angel Campground. 
and that looks like a really nice place to camp right by the river and from bright angel it's about i think 7.5 maybe like eight miles to uh, another campground called cottonwood which is the next campground which i'll pass i think and those eight miles are fairly gradual uh, going uphill so i'm only going to be doing like 2,000 feet of elevation over like eight miles or something i think so i'll probably barely notice the elevation which is nice and then after that it's going to be more steep uphill so yeah i got some cruisy miles ahead of me and just enjoy the canyon and the rivers and all that and yeah it's really cool down here i'm loving it This is bizarre, there's actually like no one down here. I've been walking for a while and haven't seen anyone. I did not expect that at all. Ever since I left uh, Bright Angel Camp, there's just been, I haven't seen anyone. <laughs> it's crazy. And on the way down to the river, it wasn't that crowded, honestly. Like a lot of people at the beginning and trail runners passing me, but at a certain point, I just, I reached a point where I couldn't really see many people ahead or behind me. And it felt like I had the trail to myself. And now I really do have the trail to myself. It's crazy. It's amazing being out here in such a beautiful place and there's no one here. So it's almost 1pm now and I'm about to reach the Cottonwood campground. I slowed my pace down a bit because it's actually been quite hot now. It's been hot for a few hours, well a couple hours I guess. And yeah, not really any shade. At that last stream I stopped for a bit, splashed some water on my face, drank some water, had um, some electrolytes, one of those noon tablets. So feeling pretty good, just making sure I don't push myself too hard and making sure I stay hydrated because I don't want to you know, wear myself out. But yeah, after I reach Cottonwood, which is going to be within the next couple minutes, I'm pretty much there. After that, I have only another six miles to reach the North Rim. Still 4,000 feet of elevation and the heat is going to be a factor. But yeah, pretty crazy. I think it's just six miles 4,000 feet of elevation, something like that. Maybe a little bit more than 4,000. Maybe 4,500, I don't know. But yeah, pretty crazy. It's been an amazing day. It's, it's honestly like, it feels magical down here. I love, I love being in the bottom of the canyon. It's so cool. So I'm at Cottonwood Camp now. Pretty impressive how big this tree is. It's the biggest tree I've seen down at the bottom of the canyon. It's nice and green down here. So I'm gonna fill up on water by the stream. So I've just been taking a nice break here at Cottonwood Camp. Uh, this, the creek here is pretty big, so I fully dunked my head in the water and that's nice and refreshing, you know. It's actually a really nice place to take a rest. 
there's good shade here from these nice trees here and there's a breeze so it's a good temperature cooling off a bit I feel so lucky to be here without being like swarmed by crowds of people I was expecting loads of people to be around here especially like at the campgrounds and stuff but at this picnic bench there's just no one here it's amazing I mean I see the occasional trail runner run past every now and then but that's about it I was expecting big groups of people so that was pretty cool I just passed by a good rest area where you can get water and there were lots of trail runners there so I asked some of them what they were doing and basically all of them were rim to rim to rim which is crazy they're all doing like 40 maybe 42 miles and so basically you know double what I'm doing and double the elevation of what I'm doing obviously they got running vests and I mean you know I'm carrying four days of food and all that but still it's crazy they said they started at like 4 or 4 30 a.m man so cool <laughs> also when I was at Cottonwood camp I said that it was like six miles to the top it's more like 6.5 but at this point I'm like about five miles from the top so yeah let's crack on I think it's pretty impressive how they built this trail there's so that's trail down there that's quite far down and it basically there's loads of switchbacks just going up here straight up the cliff edge it's quite impressive so look this is the trail down here check it out So it's 4.30 now, and I'm about a mile from finishing the rim to rim. About one mile from the North Kaibab trailhead. So yeah, it's been amazing. It's been a really cool day. It was actually not as hard as I expected. I expected it to be, I don't know, I guess my expectations were like pretty high. I thought it was going to be like crazy, crazy hard. But it was kind of similar to when I hiked up and over Mica Mountain, which was, I think, day seven of this trip. Um, yeah, it felt kind of similar, honestly. I don't know if the stats were similar in terms of elevation and mileage, but yeah. I mean, I guess everything is relative, you know. If you've hiked like 700 miles to reach the Grand Canyon, then rim to rim is obviously not going to be like the same for someone who has just flown out and is mostly doing day hikes and stuff but obviously it's a tough hike but yeah it was really cool to to reach here like you know having hiked 700 miles to reach Grand Canyon and then to go rim to rim knowing that the north rim is not my final destination knowing that I'm actually like going onwards to Utah it's a pretty cool feeling and uh yeah it's been an amazing day almost there <laughs> oh yeah and i was just thinking about like how it was similar to mica mountain and it's basically it's funny it's like the inverse like hiking across a canyon rim to rim is like the inverse of hiking a mountain 
you know, because I'm so used to a big day with a lot of elevation, meaning that when I start out, I go uphill for a long time. And then the end of the day is downhill. But, you know, obviously it's the reverse here. The yeah, beginning of the day is downhill and the end is up. And I kind of prefer it this way because usually after a long day, it kind of hurts your joints a bit going downhill. If you're doing a lot of downhill, it gets tiring. And yeah, I've been enjoying finishing a big day with an uphill, honestly, like it's not too bad. <laughs> wow, so I can't really pick it up on the camera, but I can actually see the San Francisco peaks. Okay, you can kind of see it. It's obviously a lot clearer in real life, but yeah, that's crazy. Those are San Francisco peaks near Flagstaff. I did it. <laughs> rim to rim in a day. There you go. That's it. What an amazing hike. Wow. There's a lot of snow up here as well. Did it in barefoot shoes as well. And these shoes are almost worn through on the sole and they're like coming apart here. These shoes have made it 700 miles so far, or well, more than 700 now. Just to give you an idea what these shoes are like. Alright, so once you get to the North Rim the trail is basically completely covered in snow. So what people have been doing and what is recommended is to just walk on the road. So it's a road walk from the North Rim to Jacob Lake. And then after that, you get on the trail and then finish the trail to Utah. So that's what I've been doing since I got to the North Rim. I got to the North Rim at like five something and then took a break until 5.30 and now it's like 7.15 or something, so I did about an hour and 45 just walking on the road, and it's not too bad. It's um, basically, the road is actually closed still. The road is plowed, but it's still closed, and it opens at some point in May, and basically the whole North Rim is closed. And that's part of the reason why I wasn't busy, like, you know, after I got to a certain point, in the Grand Canyon there was like not that many people and I'm sure if you come later on you know once the North Rim is open there's obviously much more people hiking that way but yeah anyway so the plan is to uh, tomorrow see how close I can get to Jacob Lake and tonight I've found a spot off the side of the road in the forest to camp I thought about continuing on and doing some night hiking but then I realized potentially the snow would get worse off the side of the road and also it might just be hard to find somewhere to camp and I figured I saw a really nice spot easy to camp and it's sheltered from the wind so I'm just gonna set up here and yeah have a good spot to camp tonight and it means I did probably like 29 miles today or something because there was like two and a half to reach the South Rim and then South Kaibab Trail to North Kaibab was like 21 and then I've done another, uh, done another like five or something. Anyway, I think I've reached like maybe 29 miles. I'm not sure. But yeah, pretty good day. Pretty solid. Tomorrow's going to be really boring because I'm just going to be walking on a road all day. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>